We are a public health program, so we provide a vital public health service for residents um, in Hennepin County. Um, you know, there are residents who are using needles to inject drugs, um, you know, residents uh, with opioid use disorder, um, residents uh, with a lot of trauma, and they're trying to cope with that and self-medicate with that. And so we want to prevent the spread of uh, HIV and hepatitis C through the sharing of syringes and by uh, providing sterile syringes and collecting used, used syringes um, is a really important way to prevent the, the spread of viral hepatitis and HIV. We believe that you know, it's important to meet people where they're at and help them um, make healthier decisions for themselves and reduce their harms, whatever that looks like for them. You know, we don't have, um, a, our only agenda is to um, reduce harm and meet clients where they're at. This work is often grant funded, you know, and being able to show the impact, um, you know, the impact is the most important part. That's why we do it. But, you know, it, it does help to be able to, to show that impact with, with data. We generate a anonymous, unique client code for every participant. We don't need to know their name. Um, we often get to know their name in the process, um, but this unique code um, is something that they use every time so that we can still track them um, and um, the services that they receive. Having a unique identifier for each client, even though it's not connected to other identifying data, makes it really helpful for us to be able to then track um, that resident as they visit and revisit services and, and can kind of see that. So that we can also know uh, sort of a, a unique number of, of residents that are engaging with service. It's, it's very helpful while also totally respecting anonymity and, and privacy of our residents. Seeing the average number of doses used to reverse an overdose um, uh, showed us that we needed to add more, add more doses to our kits. We're housed in a sexual health clinic. And we're housed in the Red Door Clinic, which is the largest sexual health clinic in the state of Minnesota. We're in downtown Minneapolis. It's very central. Um, and we have a team of highly skilled um, nurse practitioners. We are in the business of reducing harm. We're also in the business of building relationships, I believe. That's part of, that's one of the biggest components of the program is our relationship building. Participants may not visit with any other um, healthcare provider. And so we really want to make sure that we have a good relationship with participants. Our, our program shows that, uh, you know, Having strong data collection and analysis um, is not antithetical to being a harm reduction and trauma-informed program. I think that the two can really go hand in hand together. You know, I believe really strongly that all people deserve um, respect and dignity, and so um, I'm just grateful that we can we have the resources to be able to um, provide that. To be able to to support these programs that are really uh, making a difference in people's lives, and to be able to support the, the great work that's happening, <clears throat> it really does feel good. I'm, I'm very excited to be able to, to contribute something meaningful to these programs and, and their improvement and to improving the lives of our residents.